Let's do some egg math today. I recently did some egg math to determine whether I'll ever recoup my investment and that led me to a grim conclusion. Using my math and I assigned $2.30 to the cost per carton of the cheap eggs that I buy, I will never recoup my investment. However, on the other hand, if I assign $6 to each carton, as some free-range eggs will cost, we've got another outcome. Now keep in mind, I let my birds out every day for virtually all day, so I guess they're really more than free-range. They're past technically pasture-raised, but that's a different topic. So here's my math. My coop cost me about $900 to build, including the cameras, the hardware, the chicken guard extreme door, the on-door roofing panels, and everything else. I spend about $14 per month on feed. Again, the eggs cost me about $2.30 per carton. And then doing the math over the time, I've actually taken into account every egg I got since the first year in production. And doing the math on that, I get about 0.67 eggs per bird per day. Now when I had 8 birds, that was about 5.4 eggs per day. So that gave me about 1,956 eggs in the first year. Now rather than bore you with the math, I'll just go ahead and tell you. It comes out to about 163 cartons. Multiplying that by $2.30, and you're left with about $374. Hardly enough to pay for my coop in the first year. Keep in mind also that I'm paying about $14 a month for feed, which comes out to about $168 per year. So this amount will need to be deducted from what we're getting out of our eggs each year. Now I don't want to spoil what's to come later in this video, but when the summer solstice happens and your birds start to molt, they're going to quit laying eggs. That's going to totally change your math. Now on the other hand, if you assign $6 per carton, you'll recoup your investment in the first year. However, you do have to take into consideration how much feed costs, but still, assigning $6 per carton, you're going to end up in the positive after year two. So when I decided to get birds, I didn't have it in my mind that I was going to be making a lot of money by having birds in my backyard. I knew I'd get free eggs out of the deal, and I really like watching my birds scratch around. So here I am at the beginning of year two of owning my flock. My birds just started laying again after the molt, and I look for a productive year to come. Just the other night after putting my birds up, I went in the house thinking everything was okay, and it was at the time I put them up. I closed this door right here, I closed the door on the back over there, the other run, went to bed. For some reason woke up in the middle of the night and looked at my coop cam, just wanting to know what the birds were up to. And when I did, I saw this. There was nothing, <laughs> not a single bird inside the coop. So I'm like, oh man, I ran outside um, thinking that, I don't know what I thought. I don't, I mean, if they went home, nothing, nothing can get in there. Nothing's supposed to be able to get in there. Oh, it's the fox. Check it out, the fox. My chickens were freaking out because of that guy. He just attacked. Mangy beast. He's on the prowl. All right, so back to what I was saying. Well, they weren't in there, but they were perfectly fine. Thank goodness. So we had three birds were sitting on the front ramp up here, and then we had some more birds sitting in the back over here. I'll show you where they were. If I can, I don't know if you can see through there. Ugh. But inside the back run, I have a perch. They like to sit on this perch in the morning. Uh, usually they wake up, they eat some food, then they come in here and sit on this perch. There were three birds on this perch. There's a bird on this bucket over here. But I had no birds inside. So I gathered them all and I put them to bed. And I got to thinking, why didn't, why didn't they make it inside? Well, the answer to that is the winter solstice. So if you're not familiar with the solstice, there's two a year. One's in uh, summertime, I forget which month, June, July. And then the other one's in December. I think this year it was December 21st. Uh, what that means is in the summer, summer solstice is the longest day of the year. Winter is the shortest day of the year. Last time I changed the time, oh yeah, I have a chicken guard extreme as my door. Let me show you this thing. This is the chicken guard extreme. It's pretty cool. It either goes up and down by a photo cell or you can set a time. Well, I'm pretty good about setting a time for when it goes up and down. But 
last time I said it, oops, this perch that I'm sitting on is about to break. Um, last time I said it was at the end of November around Thanksgiving. I left town for, a, I don't know, a week or so. Um, at that time, the sun was setting around, I think it was about 525 in the afternoon or at night. And then come time for the solstice and after that, when this happened, this was like December 28th or something or somewhere around there, the sun was going down much later. And you would think that it would be the reverse because it's the shortest day of the month, so maybe the sun was going down earlier, but because the sun rises earlier as the days start to get longer, the time the sun sets actually sets earlier, I think it is how it works out. You have to look at the calendar. I'll show it to you right here. But what happened was the sun was out a little longer, the door shut a little earlier, same time it was always shutting, shutting however the sun was out a little longer so because of that oh we also had a full moon that didn't help anything out so that added some light to the sky at night so what then happened was birds were out here scratching around thinking everything was hunky-dory like that and instead of getting to go home they had to well they probably heard the door running the door going down and came running weren't able to get inside so they slept outside for a few hours until i realized what was going on but um Anyway, just something to think about, something to consider, that uh, if you've got one of these chicken guard extremes that you can set the time to go up and down, you're gonna have to change what time you set it or what time it goes up and down based off what the sun's doing. And like I said, just because the sun's setting earlier in the day doesn't mean the sun's rising earlier in the day also. It could be the reverse. So anyway, keep that in mind with the chicken guard extreme. Now, something else to keep in mind about the summer solstice and the winter solstice, but in this case the summer solstice to begin with that's when my birds were about 18 months old and they started to molt well they didn't yet start the molt but it was like in the process so they stopped laying eggs so I didn't get well actually almost all of them stopped laying eggs my white bird crystal she's a almost everyday layer and she never molted if she did molt I didn't notice it she kept laying eggs um, and then my where is she she's hiding over there my uh, Bard Plymouth Rock, she laid for probably another two months after everybody else stopped laying. Um, and then again, she also started laying again before everyone else. So at the end of December, I only had two birds that were laying. My Silver Lace Wayne Doat, I'm sorry, not my Silver Lace Wayne Doat, my Bard Plymouth Rock. The Bard Plymouth Rock started laying, but then again, Crystal never stopped laying. Um, and then just a couple days after that, another bird laid, and now I've got like four birds laying. Let me go check and see how many eggs I've gotten this morning. I've heard a couple squawks out here, so I know there's a couple different birds laying right now. Hey, birdies. Let's see what we got. Nothing in there. We've got two eggs in here. And you can see two different color eggs. And even two more different color eggs. Let me put them all together to show you the difference. The white one... I know for certain this crystal that's my white australorp this one right here oops i got a bird on my back hey birdie <laughs> i'm just checking out your eggs i'm just seeing what's going on in here that's pepper right there so she's just the one she started laying recently i was hoping i was going to see an egg from her but i don't know i don't recognize an egg from her right now um she's gonna get up on top of the roof what are you doing up there? She's never been up there before. Hey, buddy. All right, come on. I'm just gonna keep keep filming this. See what's gonna happen. I'm curious. Come on, just get back on my head. There we go. It's my sweetie bird. Let me get down. Let me get down. All right, here we go. She's gonna sit there. 
when I go outside, if I just crouch down like this, she jumps up on my back like every time and then climbs on my head sometimes. So anyway, I guess I can talk while she's doing this. Where I was going is, all the birds, they lay different color eggs and you can tell which one is whose. So I know who's laying, laying eggs right now. So I've got a, a red, Rhode Island red laying, she's laying, honey's laying, um, crystal's laying, and I think that's it right now. But right now I've got four eggs this morning. Um, And I'm pretty happy with that because I haven't had eggs in a while. I've been actually had to buy a couple cartons of eggs recently because of these birds. Something about molting is, you know, people will tell you that your birds will molt. She, uh, you all right up there? They'll tell you that your birds will molt for like um, six to eight weeks, but my birds molted. My birds molted for quite some time. Like some of them stopped laying in July. So we had July, August, September, October, November. July, August, September, October, November, and December. We had like six months where they didn't lay at all. I think that's excessive, but I don't know. I don't know any better. Uh, but anyway, like I said, people say six to eight weeks. Well, mine was 24 weeks for some of my birds. Um, but I've been real happy with the egg production. So far I've gotten I was doing the math before they started laying and I was averaging 0.67 eggs per bird per day. So with all my birds, I was get, I got over a thousand eggs last year, something like that. Um, more, more than enough to eat. I uh, get to the point where I've got too many. So what I do is I separate, usually when I gather the eggs, I separate the extra large and the jumbos from all the other ones. And once I get 12, we'll make devil, deviled eggs with them. And then the deviled eggs go like hotcakes. So I make typically make uh, eggs in the morning, maybe even make an egg sandwich for lunch. And I'm, a, I'm an egg person. I'm a breakfast person. I really like breakfast. I don't care what time of day it is. So I'll make eggs at dinner also sometimes if I have too many of them. But I haven't ever had, the, had it to where we had to give any way unless we're out of town. When I go out of town, I usually just tell somebody and they come by and pick them all up. But... Um, if you're trying to figure out how many eggs you're going to get per bird, and you got a mixed flock like I've got here. Let me show you what I've got. I've got Rhode Island Red, Rhode Island Red, Bard Plymouth Rock, um, Buff Orpington, a, uh, oh my gosh, a Oster, White Oster, or a, yeah, White Osterlorp or Oster White or whatever she's called. Silver Lace Wayne Doat, and hiding over there is my Oster, my Black Osterlorp. So I've got a mixed breed, a mixed bag of chickens, and I get about, like I said, 0.67 eggs per bird per day. So when I had eight birds, I actually had one pass away last summer. Um, I was getting roughly 5.4, something like that, eggs per day. And that's a lot of eggs, you know, when you're uh, trying to eat them all. <laughs> you know? When I initially got my coop or started building my coop, I was curious to know if how long it was going to take to pay for itself at the rate my birds are going and as extravagant i'm not talking about you know i don't have tile floors in there and marble countertops and things like that but it's a pretty extravagant coop pretty well built i'd like to say I'm going to pat myself on the back um it was roughly 900 dollars collectively with all the cameras i've got inside with the chicken guard extreme door uh, the extra run I added on the back and everything, you know, the, the roofing panels and everything, it really adds up when you do it like that. So if you go all out, it's going to take a little while to recoup your investment. But I think it comes out to like three years to recoup my investment if the birds laid as they had been every day for three years. As I just mentioned, it's not going to happen like that because the sum, summer solstice will happen or whenever your birds start molting, you're going to miss a few weeks, a few months. Um, in my case, six months of, of egg production. So that really puts me back. Now, if the, if the birds continue to lay, you know, as they have been another three three years, okay, we're good. We'll probably recoup over that time. But um, as they pass away and I re, you know, add add more to my flock, it'll eventually pay itself off. So um, just wanted to give you a kind of a heads up about that. If you get really crazy with your coop and you really spend some money on it, it's going to take some time to recoup your investment.
I hope you enjoyed my rambling. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.